Here we go. Whether it'll help go live. Yeah, that. Um, Where's the foes? You angle this down a bit more. Oh, you can still see up the top. Just trying to get a good angle first. That looks fine. Welcome everybody. Just a little casual um, stream. We'll start the collapse on this model. I thought why not? It looks like a fun one to show um, at the start. This is what we have here. And I'm basically just going to collapse some of the outside for the stream because it's going to be quite a confusing one when we get to the centre, but I'll do that off camera. I might as well start it all uh, on stream and yeah, go from there. Uh, what paper are you using? I'm thinking of folding it. This is El Vici, the one I make. Um, really perfect thickness, really nice, stunning crisp and extremely colourful. And hopefully it looks good on the camera. It's quite a hard paper to take pictures of and get nice, um, to make it look really good. Welcome fans, uh, Robert. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, if you started Discord. Uh, I don't use Discord too much, so I don't, I'm already in, in, in enough groups um, as is, so it's hard to keep track of everything. So anyway, streaming for an, an hour, at the most probably, uh, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, but yeah, it's not going to be a massive long stream, but hopefully you can hear me all right. Uh, hopefully the, it should be a good enough, uh, close enough as is. So I'll just show you the crease part. In fact, I've already showed you that. I'll show you the paper. Again, hopefully this looks really nice. I will get a ton of pictures and videos after all this to show it um, even better. So it's so much happening. And this one sheet. Like it took me a while to figure out um, what colours to do for a leafy sea dragon because I had to look up, pardon me, um, what they look like in real life and try and just get something that matches. Oh, welcome, Robert. Uh, thank you for uh, joining to say hi and thank you. Um, Hello Leo, welcome. So yeah, it's quite a confusing crease part in that. Um, I could do a partial uh, tutorial on this. Maybe maybe even use this as, as the tutorial, whether well, that, that would be, uh, it's hard to see the creases on this. But I could do a partial pre-crease tutorial. I'll give everyone a chance to pre-crease this. But, um, it's going to be quite confusing, so I'll start off with this part, wherever it is, what side is it, it's the other side. So I will try and collapse, this part seems the easiest, this part right here. Again for those that have just joined, I'm not going to collapse the full thing on stream, I will do some of the outside, uh, and then that will near enough be it, because it's going to be quite confusing to figure out a uh, collapse sequence for this. Uh, so here we are. So how's everyone's day so far, wherever you are in the world? It's 
quite annoying as you need to find the this reference. This crease here. And then divide this part into six, which is a, a nuisance. One of those annoying things you need to do. Oh, where is the crease? I missed it completely. Yeah, let's do this first. Also got my pegs right here as well to help. They will come in so handy. Oh, so intricate this. It's one of the models I've really looked forward to making. Just uh, took the time to decide what type of paper to make. But I think it's all going to work out, hopefully. So we have this. I mean, this part has so many uh, parts coming out of it. That's going to look, be quite confusing to figure out. And then I'll do it on this side as well. I did uh, test fold the other part. Um, these parts are quite confusing. This part here. Try and get a few of these done on stream. Um, but they, they look really neat when I did a test fold of that part. Comes together real nicely. Hello everyone, welcome for joining. Um, this will help me a lot. I'm trying to fold the Lucy Dragon. Oh, so are you folding this one as well? Poker. The same one. Yeah, I mean, if it helps, then, then brilliant. It's not going to be a tutorial, this stream, I'm not going to collapse the full thing if you've just joined, just starting it off to see how it goes. My stressful studying day, it's final periods in university. Yeah, super important day. Um, get every bit of studying that you can in. It will all pay off. Wait, I could probably put the tripod. Yeah, let me move closer so I can get more of a tutorial look, uh, angle. Put the tripod in front of me. So I'm not really. I don't really need to stay too back, uh, too further back. What about this? Is this a better angle? And hopefully, I don't um, go out of frame as well. Also a good tip is make, once you pre-crease it, go through every crease, make it either what it's supposed to be, or whether, let me lower this a wee bit. That should be better. I can lower this as well actually. Get rid of that. It's weighing it down, making it too heavy. But a good, again, a tip, the really good tip is to make all the creases mountain folds or valley folds to what they should be before you begin the collapse. That's what I've did with this entire crease pattern. Like, if you can see the, like, uh, mountain fold, valley, mountain, and then we have, uh, what's that, it's a valley fold, mountain fold. It's all orientated, so it should be much easier. Um, to collapse if things get stressful. I mean, it all becomes 3D. Um, 
try and make parts come together, that will really help. I'll do it for every single model. And it's worked. What did I do with this one? Yeah, that folds over, so I'll do those parts next. I'll just try and get this part done first. Again, sorry about my hands looking all weird. Because we have uh, so much snow and it's freezing, like minus 10, my hands got all super dry. And this is with a ton of moisturiser on my hands, even. Like, I don't like to try and stream when I've got cuts or that, but just in case you're wondering. At what age did you start doing origami? Um, in 2011, um, so 19, not 18, 18 or 19, around then. Yeah. Oh yeah, it'll be 10 years this November, so nine years ago. Time flies when you have um, so much fun as well. Wait there, let me get my roll, measure the paper, I'm not actually... Oh, it's right here. In case anyone else needs a good um, measurement if they plan to make it. So let's see how big this is. So we have there. 60. Sixty-four centimeters, near enough. So if you plan to make it, um, I mean this is going to seem like a really good size to me. I could have went much bigger, but I thought this would be a perfect size. Okay, so let me see. Well, I've just joined. We are. Um, which part am I doing? This part. This side. I'm just collapsing this part and then this part. Done this part and then try and slot these in place. Try and get it to lie flat. So it's going to be quite the collapse for this part. I don't even know if I'll get it done. I thought I would stream this, this model to start it off. So we'll see what we can do in an hour. Will you share pictures of the finished base? Yes, I will. Um, I won't share shaping because that is what the members get. They see everything about shaping. Even a Lydian and the rooster, they see all that shaping. So I keep that for them. But you'll see the base and then I'll jump to the finished model whenever I get to that point. Let me flip this over. And as always, before I um, fully make a crease, just make sure it's perfect like that. Firmly press. The paper is going to remember uh, how it's supposed to be in. That made no sense, but anyway. Oh, well, happy uh, origami anniversary. Yeah, thank you. Um, 10 years this November, I started uh, folding. That's crazy. What should be my special uh, video for 10 years, like anniversary video? What should I do? Well, quite a few ideas, but always good to have more. Right, these pegs are in the way. I'll take them off the table so I don't knock anything over. But yeah, this is going to be one of those uh, these collapses where it'll take its time because it seems obvious to collapse all these parts. Do all the pleats and then collapse these parts. I'll do this part next. This is a fun one. Um, collapse all these ones and then work my way in 
Uh, it seems easier that way because you have all these different angles where the pieces need to get pushed up or pushed down. Uh, there's no there's no color changes from the looks, so they mostly get pushed up. But again, that's my personal preference how to how I'd like to collapse it. Um, so we'll flip this part over. And then it's a fun one to pre-crease as well. It's also a hard one because you need to be as precise as possible. Because uh, l let me show you, I made a boo-boo here. Well, it doesn't matter anyway because I've, like, I won't tell you what it is. I'll let you try and see it first. Give you like 10 seconds. And then, I'll, and then I'll explain. The good thing is when you make mistakes, um, don't get put off because you can still hide them when you when you shape, when you fold. This model's gonna completely shrink right down so there's a 95% chance you won't see it. And if you do, it will be a tiny part. But the mistake I made was, um, these creases right here. Don't know if you can see them. I made this one here and then this one here. And then I used the wrong one. So when I had to make this 90 degree crease, um, which one? This one here. When I had to make this one, it's supposed to line up with here with this intersection, but it came to about here. Which... You can just make it, because I didn't make it that much, because uh, at that point I realised. So it came here, when it was supposed to go up here. But, figured it out. Um, oh, Google comments. Where can I find the crease pattern or diagrams for this model? There are no diagrams, but the CP is in a... Tanadation uh, magazine. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is in. Uh, I can let you know after this. 125. Um, I'm not sure which one, but it has the picture, the crease pattern on the cover of the book. I'm pretty sure it does. It. I'm pretty sure it does. So you'll know if you have the right one. Uh, right, right, where was I? Okay, trying to make sense of what is happening here. Can't really fold these parts in half at the moment. Yeah, because these are all... It's just, it's so much angles. You need to take it into consideration. And I think I'll try and collapse this. Go with this one next. Um, and then I'll do this one. These are f uh, fun ones to do. Wait there, let me see. Now look at all these different colours of creases. How they all combine. Um, need to try and plan it out. Watch James Foes on the tablet. Let me refine that again. One second, everyone. Is it going to load? Nope. This always happens every stream. And attempt number two, right there. Please. Nope. And again. There. We're back. Oh, he's just speaking French. Um. Yeah, I read that. Uh, 
Maybe a full origami tour. Oh yeah, collection. I could do that actually. So I haven't did one in like um years. Literally years. So that's definitely on the tables. Oh, anyone speak French here? I do not speak French. Caloretil, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, pronounce it? Is that what uh, what time it? What time is it? I did French in school, but that was quite a while ago, and I've obviously forgotten it all. Caloretil, I can't remember. But anyway, where am I? Chris Potter. Yeah, let's try collapse this one. I'll be able to get this flat because it has straight creases coming all the way down from all angles. Where uh, this part has multiple. So it should be easier. But I can do this one actually. Yeah, let's do this one. Grant are very strong in origami. Thank you. <laughs> Passion. That's what it is. Passion and lots of love. Well, I was born in Saint Tropez, black and grey crease pattern. Yeah, the crease pattern is in black and grey. It's all technically coloured, um, like that. So, uh, foldable to follow. It. Oh, at least it's not um, a single colour, which would be a nightmare. Wait, is it? Is it? It's Je m'appelle. Did you appeal grunt? Did I say that correct? <laughs> you should uh, try and uh, teach me some phrases in French, like origami phrases. Because um, about two years ago, um, I had this idea to... I've actually still got the everything ready for it. Um, saying phrases in different languages in origami. I should really make that one. I've got like the first episode ready to record um, where I said I love origami in different languages. I thought that was a pretty neat idea. Though I never got around to recording it. Welcome everyone. For that has just joined, that is new. Uh, we are not collapsing the full crease pattern. We're just initially starting it off. Because it seems like a fun thing to do. Oh yeah, this is this fun one. This part right up here. Oh, oh god, I can understand what you are saying. <laughs> I'll teach you some Dutch origami terms, yes. Oh, I wish I had the list because I, I'd wrote down uh, what I sent to everyone, which was um, I, I love origami. They sent back how to say it in their language and then I replied to them a bunch of times to try and get it right. So I need to do, I need to uh, do that. But yeah, Dutch, that's a, that's a hard language. I'm really curious to see how this is all going to turn out in the end. And making all these creases, mountain or valley folds, uh, beforehand is, is so much easier. I don't need to worry about things coming together specifically. You just put it in rough position and it will near enough collapse itself. Oh, 
Wait, where am I? Where am I? I think I just need this one on. Yeah, it's going to be create a point. Like that. Seeing how I'm bringing all the paper together at this angle. Yes, I'm reading um, all the chat at the same time. I'm going back and forth between everything. Yeah, I've, I read the chat and then fold a bit, read the chat, fold a bit. Oh, we have this little part here. Yeah, that's it, E. Calvin. That's the one. Yeah. Um, it's so much fun. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to do that first episode. And then if you want to take part, um, let me know. I will try and find something that... Uh, the, the, the different phrase won't include origami because I, I don't know if origami translates in your language or is it just origami, but most of them was just... Um, like Ikhalvin origami, not origami in your language. Does that make sense? But I'm trying to find something that doesn't have origami on it. So it's completely your language. God, I don't know why I never done that. That's year that was like two two years ago I had that idea. I think it was like the start of twenty nineteen or twenty twenty. No, tw twenty nineteen. I thought about doing that. So like that. Beautiful paper, RS. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully the quality is good with this. Of course, you'll see it in much better pictures, but I mean, there is so much happening in this paper. I don't know how well you can see it uh, from this, from, from the angle. Uh, hello, Obami. Um, so, sorry if I didn't, uh, if I never said that. What type of paper is it? Yes, Alvici. Alvici Half Shine. And then I can just uh, fold this over using this valley fold, which is... If you look, we have the valley fold. We've made these basically mountain valley folds to get that point. And then um, we have valley fold here, mountain, valley. And to do that, you just fold it in half. Like that. That is it. That is all she wrote. Um, yes, yeah, so let's try this one. This big one right here, which is... Alright, uh, thank you very much, Hactan. Hope you enjoyed uh, what you've seen. And enjoy the rest of your, of your day or evening, wherever you are from. So this part right here. And these are just um, how the crease collapses. You don't need to pre-crease these. Same with um, these ones. Um... Which other ones? Yeah, this one here. And then your... Oh, what's the name called again? For these ones? I can't remember the name. Um, you, do, you don't need to pre-crease these as well, but I did uh, for most of them. Because I wasn't sure how confusing the base is going to be when I have it, or when I'm collapsing, so it makes everything easier. If I have as much as possible. Okay, so collapsing this part. Much easier when I did this test folding with a test sheet. And just extend these all the way up. So 
So uh, what is the weather like for everyone? Because as of the past few days, we have had so much snow. It has been unreal. Like, so much. Um, a lot has fallen. It's became insanely cold. And a lot of fun as well. And if you're wondering, if you've just joined and you're wondering why my hands are all um, dry looking, that's because of just the weather. That's what, that's what happens when it gets really cold here. This is with, again, a lot of moisturiser on my hands. It just really dries up my skin and makes it uh, crack and bleed, which isn't the pl isn't most isn't as pleasant. But that's the weather we're getting here. And I've shown quite a lot of pictures of snow as well on my pages. I mean, there's nothing better than walking in uh, fresh fallen snow. And it's just it's so good. That f that sound, that soft, gentle crunch. And then we're just going to bring these edges together. So you just bring this edge to this edge. Ares, have you ever folded this before? I have not. So this is the first time you're seeing it. Or seeing me folding it. Or first time me folding it. All, all those three, what I just said. <laughs> yeah, so first time folding it. Yeah, I need to get angle right on this because it's easier to see from the correct angle than like this, it's not the easiest. It's better to show this way for streaming, but from this case, to get it as best as possible, I want to just try and get it as neat. It's so windy and a bit of snow. Yeah, um, snow is fine, but when you have the wind combined into it, it makes it worse. Because when it blasts against your face, it is unbearable. It's just, it's just that cold. So near enough like that. I'm not going to uh, fully press it. I just want to check the other side first. I know the top's fine. So I can press that firmly. Flip it over. That looks a bit fine. I'll just um, flatten out these parts a wee bit more. Uh, cold and snow here in Belgium. Um, it is snowing here in my country, but it melts instantly due to the wet surface. I can't even imagine what a Scottish winter must be like. Brrr. Yeah, yes, lots of brrr. I mean, if you, if you can't already tell, I, I've been wearing my dressing gown like every day for the past few months. Literally every day. So, um, yeah, it's freezing as well. I mean, it just depends. We can have really cold winters, no snow. Really cold winters, lots of snow, or not that bad, but it tends to be quite bad. But you just need to wrap it warm. Like if I go out the now, um, I'll have hat, gloves, scarf. Um, I'll keep my face mask on as I walk as well, because that keeps my face warm as well. That really helps. So I'm just be fully wrapped up as you would normally, normally do. So we have that part collapsed. That's what that's what that looks like. I mean, I don't I, I don't even know what the angle of this would be if you were to pre-crease it. I'm not entirely sure on what that would turn out to be like. So I think I can actually collapse 
for this part because we don't have anything interfering here with, no, anything interfering here which affects this. So we can collapse these plates actually. I'll do this. I'll be easy with this one, I'm not the one from the, the side. So all these um, creases right here. Don't know how well you can see them, let me zoom in. Is that better? Is it in more focus? I mean, you'll see it much better when I do it, when I take pictures of everything, but... So that's what it's like, these wee parts here. Um, I'm actually a peg. Should I peg? No, I won't peg it. It's just, it's just going to weigh it down. Oh yeah, we have these ones as well. Yeah, I, I am definitely um, sledding if I go outside. Yeah, there's a lot of people doing that here as well. A lot of nice uh, uh, smallish hills as well, which are all the kids are doing it. That was so much fun. Massive snowball fights as well. They were they were great. Um. Oh, I hear a bell. A cat is about. Grant, are you going to fold Boyce's Samurai version three? Yes. Um, I've already got the paper made. Uh, I showed it in a previous video. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's in on the list near the top. So I'll be up some point. I'll start on it at some point. I can't wait to use that paper for it. It will be uh, Elvici as well. How does this come together again? So this part here. Oh yeah, they come down like that. So I can collapse this first and then try and get this part done. I could even collapse um, these sinks as well. But if I can get this part neatly done, then that's a good bit. Welcome uh, Hamad, thank you for joining. I think I'll do one at a time actually. Maybe if that helps. No, a slopper is on the computer chair. I can see him from here. He's cleaning himself. Yeah, this seems to be an easier method. There we go. Like that. Do you have a origami girlfriend? No. Still in progress. No, no, I don't yet. Can't believe I did those videos. They were so funny. And then before you know it, everyone's uh, saying that to me. A folded one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did the obelisks model. Yeah, well, Asuna, yeah, that, that's the one. Your voice is comforting my ears. I'm glad. Um, I hope you can understand me as well. Sometimes it's quite, pe yeah, people can't understand what I'm saying because of my accent. But we have this. Meanwhile, we're getting there. Of course, uh, for those that have just joined that are new, we're not going to be collapsing the full thing just for an hour, which we have 20 minutes left. So if I can get this part done, then I'll be happy. And it's going to be a confusing bit. Wait there, let me check. The 
she's porn? We wasn't here. Yeah, mount, uh, mountain, valley, mountain, mountain, yep. Because it comes together quite weird, <coughs> these parts, because they, they sort of push themselves out to create these cool little uh, details. Uh, I won't peg it like that. If I peg it like that, uh, I don't think I have. Wait, that could work. If I increase it up a little bit more. Uh, I don't have enough. Wait, let me collapse this part. I could peg it right here, actually. That should make it easier to hold together. And again, always use uh, bits of paper over the pegs, so the pegs don't leave marks on the paper. Uh, welcome, Suraj. Thank you for joining this casual, chilled out stream. That's what it is. I mean, it wouldn't be casual and chilled out if I was pre creasing a, a Kota model or a Shuki model. I mean, they would be pretty stressful. Trying to interact with everyone while having to be ultra precise. Uh, that, that, that would be torture. So I think, yeah, I'll leave it like this. See how much more it comes together. Yeah, the valve has to, has to come over this way, but I can't really do that just yet. Oh, that'd be fine. Move this up actually. No, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. Okay, so let's try and put in these parts. Now the good thing is I've I have um made them all mountain folds and valley folds already. See the thought of trying to do this without having that in place sounds like torture to me. I don't I don't know if anyone else does that, but that is personal preference and it's so much easier. I know I've said it a lot already, but it really does help. And if you don't do it, I'd suggest you try it. That's a lifesaver, it really is. Yeah, the middle is a mountain fold. Mountain fold, that's fine. That's It's all going to, like, fold over it. Um, have you checked Origami Bell's tutorial for the Kota Zonoid? I finally... Yes, I have seen it and he's doing a great job. And I'm glad he's doing that model because it's a model that everybody wants to make. Um, so I'm glad he's the one that stood up to help teach everyone how to do it. It's amazing design and he's doing amazing so far in the series. Right, let me see, I need to make this part. This is like how fast I collapse. I just take my time, no rush. I'm not racing, I'm not competing. I wanna get this as clean as possible. And I know if I take my time, I will get that. And let me see. I should have brought the test fold uh, through here with me. It's not, it's in the living room. I can't be bored getting up. Uh, when mom, I'm surprised you haven't tried it yet. Yeah, yeah uh, not yet. It doesn't fully interest me at, at the moment personally, that's why. I like to be excited uh, about making a model before I make it. Um, to make me interested to make it. But if I can make a cool paper, um, that would suit it. That would be 
a boost of confidence to start that model. Uh, so let me just check. We have, oops. Yep, mountain fold in place. Yeah, and this part gets tucked underneath. This is the confusing part. Maybe it'd is it sort of where is it? Oh, it's flipping around. That wait, maybe it collapses easier this way. Double check the piece bonding. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I need to make this mountain fold as well. I need to make this first. These ones here. Like that. Can you see that? Um, tweezers. Folder's best friend, tweezer right here. Like that. And I'll just do the same on this side. Also, um, Origami Sage is doing a, a 1.2, no, 2.1 tutorial as well. It's going to be a massive series, so make sure to check that out as well. He uploaded an announcement video the other day. So that's going to appeal to a lot of people that want to make that, that model. So I think I have, I need to angle this peg down the way. Uh, welcome Hellman, uh, Hellman, hope I pronounced your name correct, hola, thank you for joining. Um, my mum says no more uh, screaming because you ripped your origami while playing with it. No more screaming, go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I should probably do more of those videos. They're real, they're real fun to make. Oh, I think that's, I mean, this is much easier when this paper's bigger. Much easier. Wrong tool. So like that, that's bef sort of coming together. Is it in focus? It looks like it, hopefully it is. It's all these little angles that Come together. Oh, there we go. That's it. Near enough there. And we should just fold it in half. I think I can get rid of this. That's done its job. And again, before I collapse it, I just want to make sure I'm using the crease. Right, that one I made wasn't... I feel like correct. But it doesn't matter. Like that. There we go. And I think it would be that easy because the test fold was much harder. And um, maybe because, well, the, the paper was, it was bigger. 
It was, mu it was much bigger than this. Maybe I just found a better sequence. But that was pretty straightforward. But yeah, there we go. That is one of them. Um, yeah, that is... So the model will have... Of course, that will be all curve. And then it'll have lots of things sticking out. Um, have I got a pen? I'll put a pen past. Oh, in fact, the, the test folds right behind me. All this time, and it was right behind me. I thought it was through there. Um, but yeah, just drawing that. Uh, what's it like? Yeah, this is gonna be a really bad. So it'll be like that, and then I'll have all these. Things sticking out and then like that. And then each of these parts is get rid of this pen in case I colour in the paper. Each of those parts is one of these, so it's got tons of these. So these are just the ones on the outside. Um let me just count them. We have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 of those parts and then you've got multiple ones in the centre, tons of them, so it's all going to be um, crazy compact as well. Um, actually I think I might try a sea dragon, yeah I think it's, maybe try one easier, I mean there's lots of designs, this one just caught my attention the most. There is a newer version of this by the designer, but this uh, looks near enough identical. I compared both, I uh, did research, I mean they both look um, really similar. And the, the new version seems a lot harder to pre-crease. It's a lot more weird angles, so I, I went with this one. But th th this is stunning as well, it really is this one. Um, if I rip my origami, I don't scream. I go to a corner and, of course, away by. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are these tutorials for the Zonoin Dragon? Origami Bell on YouTube. Yeah. Check him out. Yeah, he's doing uh, parts. So it's not uh, like a full tutorial. He'll show you how to make like the head, how to pre-crease the head, how to collapse, how to shape. And like go through the whole model like that. Just as I did for Ryujin. I showed you how to do each part and maybe get them to uh, be able to compile them all into one video. That would be pretty cool. So there would be a 12 hour uh, Zonoid Dragon tutorial as well. I believe the main trouble origami is half is finding the right paper to fold stuff. I have been folding with the same paper for five years. That is so true. Um, what helps to make me fold this, and, I, and I'm going to do a video uh, talking about this, um, I'll quickly go over it as, well I've already made it, it's just to upload, but um, what helps to inspire me to fold is finding first of all the right model and then trying to figure out can I make the paper for it. Um, so I know the model, I would love to have this leafy sea dragon and displayed my living room or somewhere in the house. So I've got the model and I need to think, how can I make the paper? Uh, what type of paper should I use? What thickness? What size? What type of colourings? Um, and I go through a ton of test folds to end up with this paper. So I've got the model, I've finally got the paper, and I'm extremely confident I can make it. So that's all the three you need for a model. And same with um, Shuki's Elephant. They're both his elephants, I'm going to start his Asian one soon. But it's the same process, how can I make paper that resembles elephant skin? Um, the appearance, how it walks, etc. I mean, it's just, that's the main thing that inspires me. It's why I've, I've invested a lot of money into trying to make all this type of paper and uh, so on. But it's well worth it, it's so worth it, because I can go crazy in the paper I use and try to make 
altså ved at råbe før. Um. Oh, Penny's trying to get through a bit there. Penny, I left the door open for you and you still can't get through. find the crease part or oh, Andrew finally got one of these uh, live awesome um, sorry if you missed the previous ones I mostly stream at this time um, I think it's a good time it's chilled it's relaxed it hits a lot of time zones as well um, and it's good for everyone to see I finally got one of these that you have to straight up. Where can I find the crease pattern? In a Tanadation convention book. I'm not sure which one it is, but the picture is on the the cover. I think someone said it's 125. Maybe check that number. Uh, I can't check them now because I'm using the phone to stream and the tablet to watch the stream. Well, let me just check. Come out of the stream first. I'm trying to find it for you. I've got three minutes left before I stop. I'm only streaming for an hour, so I'll use this time. Origami. Let me see. Tanadation. Um, let's see what pops up. Yeah, Origami Tanadation Magazine 125. So, that one there. The crease pattern is in here. Or I can just send you it, whatever's easiest. Or a wee bit behind. Fast forward. Yeah, there we go. Um. Yeah, I want. I want to do Camille's one. Oh yeah, he's he's got one as well. Yeah, I mean, there's loads of them. Just find one that you would like to make and make it. That is it. Go for it. They're all good designs. Just depends which one uh, you like. Uh, you're very good at origami, thank you very much. Keep up the good work. I mean to say keep up the good work. I meant to say keep up the good work. Uh, thank you very much for that, Assassin. That means a lot. I always put 100% into everything I fold and do. Um, so that yeah, is near enough the stream. We have got to the one hour mark. I only streamed for one hour for those that have just joined. Uh, Grant, please tell me the secret to unlock Soma's Olivian crease pattern. I can't tell you that. Top secret. <laughs> oh god, lockdown here. Thank you, sending it would be great. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, message me to what, one of my pages and then I'll get back to you at some point. Um, so that is it. I'm going to stop the stream now, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Um, yeah, Andrew, well, folks, I tried. Hey, if you don't try, you don't get it. That's the main thing. <laughs> I was in your position and then I I can't say anything, uh, but I got it. Um, so yeah, that is it, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Um, I made it right at the end. Awesome, Simon. You you just made it before I hit the end. Um, and NTG as well. Sorry as well. Um, 
Uh, how do I get these papers? I sell them on my Etsy store, link is in the description. There'll be loads more sheets going up uh, real soon. Um, yeah, that is it. Oh, I'm ending it when I just got here. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, everyone. I will see you all later. <gasps> I damaged the paper. Anyway, paper is baking. I need to go and make it.